Wicked Wednesday Shop Talk, everybody. I just got home, running a little bit late. I'm hoping I'll get to throwing that one. I'll show you that in a second. I throw it all the time. I'm in the mood to throw it. Today's carry went light. I carried the uh, Spyderco Tenacious, my Carter Scales, customized. Okay, I always carry that in my left pocket. I mean, my right pocket. Today, I, I used to carry this all the time. I just, I don't know what happened. Why I, I bought it to carry it in my left pocket. This is the uh, the off grid baby rhino. Now I think they make this in black now, black G10 scales. This is gray. This is a Scandi 14C 28 inch steel. It's razor sharp. This is Wicked Wednesday. I think this is as wicked as you can get to carry. We got jipping right here. It has that finish on it, that gray finish deep pocket carry if you want to carry it that way but i tell you what guys i i've never used the pocket clip on this because look at that this just drops down there like a like some change and that's what it's for i i used to carry this every day it's just a, a great backup knife uh it's razor sharp that scandy it, it just is super cool knife i'm gonna do a short video on that it's been a couple of years man I got this when they first came out. They had this color, and I think I saw not too long ago. I know uh, a lot of companies are changing their steel. They're upgrading. Even Honey Badger's doing that. Uh, they might have changed the steel on this, but they did have a black one. And I'm always was a blackout tactical guy, you know. But they had the gray, and I had to have it. The uh, scales on here are G10, and just a nice grip. Man, I recommend that. That's the off grid baby rhino. Check it out, really, seriously. And I believe it's budget friendly. I forgot all about this. I need to carry that more often, man, in my left pocket. Okay, this is Wicked Wednesday. I'm going to go through this real quick. Uh, let's, these are fixed blade knives right here. Let me get the folders out of the way. No, let's do this. Okay, this is the QSP uh, Nick Muck. And I'm telling you guys, I think this is wicked as it comes. This is a D2 steel G10 handle. And it's a neck knife or in the pocket. And this blade is sharp. This is razor sharp right here. That's QSP. I, I realize, I didn't realize until as I'm going through my knife collection to pick out some things to share, I've got a lot of QSPs. You know, I just thought I did those QSP canaries. I got a lot of QSP knives and there's a reason for it. They're great knives, man. They really are. They got jipping. Razor sharp. Uh, it, it, this is a great neck, neck knife. It went right next to this, laying in the drawer for some reason. It just shuffled over there. Is this uh, CRKT? That's pretty famous or popular. CRKT, the mem Meminless. Okay. It's the, the buoy. Razor sharp. Uh, even it came with that little lanyard there. It also has a clip. That's the way I carried it. You can't do a neck knife. This is razor sharp. I just think that's wicked. Now, great box cutter, very doable or whatever, but I tell you what, uh, this thing will slice. This thing will slice. Same with that, with that neck muck. Okay, so we got those. I brought this back out. I had to. I just think it's wicked looking. It's a fixed blade knife. This is the Spider Co. Uh, Bow River. And this is the one I customized with the Micarta Scales. This was an experience customizing, man. It really was. Because this has three screws in it. But I had trouble getting them out. Uh, the other model, not the blackout version, the satin, the, uh, the scales, they have pins in them. So anyway, I ended up doing a really modification on this. I decided I had to drill holes, so I learned a huge lesson on drilling hardened steel. You gotta do, have a special bit. Uh, I found that I happened to have these uh, this hardware there, and I thought it was perfect for this knife. So I did this with, uh, I used two of the holes, drilled them out wider, used two screws, 
and then I, I made a lanyard hole out of that third one. So I didn't have to drill that one. I just uh, used it as a lanyard hole. And I got the Spyderco lanyard. This is one of my favorite uh, customizations I did. I thought the uh, the scales and everything just looked wicked. And what really is cool about this knife, here I go again, is the sheath. I'm telling you, sheath is very important to me, the sheath quality and how it works. It makes it all just function right, how it fits. You know, I just love it. I've gotten some great knives where the sheaths just suck. It just drives me crazy. I end up uh, carrying some upside down with the clip. But anyway, here's another fixed blade knife. Now, I was lucky. I picked these up. I started collecting these. These are the Perkin knives. And the whole thing was it was uh, out of uh, UK, that kind of bit. And I was fortunate because at the time, I think this is still available right here. Uh, I got a, I got like three or four good Perkin uh, knives. I could tell they were, uh, yeah, they were UK stuff. The last few I got was kind of questionable. I hate to say it, but yeah, they're, they're good knives. I love them. I got them. I bought them. I didn't return them. Uh, but they're more of a Pakistan type thing. You know what I mean? Okay, this is their hunting knife. I think it's wicked. It comes in this nice black sheath. Okay. But check this out. It, this, this thing is razor sharp. Look at that blade. It's out of 1080 high carbon steel. It's got micarta scales, which are gorgeous. It's got the uh, crest right there, the Perkin crest. It did come with a leather lanyard. I'm telling you, man, I just felt that. This thing is razor sharp. This is one I need to do a numerous amount. I never did a sharp uh, test for you. Demonstration. I just about cut my finger. Look how long that is, too. Feels great in the hand. This is a Perkin. The Perkin hunting knife has a black finish to it. 1080 high carbon steel. Uh, man. Haven't shown that in a while. I might do a short on that one. I'm trying to find some I haven't shown in a while. I might do a short on that one. Okay, this one uh, I just showed last week. This is that uh, Hawk. I forget the name of it already. This is Off Grid. And I just did a short. I just purchased it. I should know the name. Nighthawk. Super action. I just think that's wicked as can be. It's D2 steel, black finish. Look at the shape of that blade. The scales is incredible. That's G10 scales. Look at the texture. I would love to, to practice that. You know what I mean? Super action. As usual for Kobachek. They make great knives. Okay, so that's pretty wicked. It's probably the most wicked knife. One of the most wicked folding knives I have. Besides the SOG tooth lock. That thing's wicked. I'll show that Sox Sunday again. But this is the Off Grid Scorpion Blackout V2 Blackout. This thing's wicked, folks. It's high end materials at an affordable price. I think it's around the $200 mark. But I've seen nice three, $400 that this, this is right there with them. Okay. This is carbon fiber inlay. The hull thing is titanium. The hardware is titanium. The screws are titanium. The pocket clip. The screws are recessed. It's deep pocket carry. It is a frame lock. Check that blade out. You got jipping here. This is a four inch blade, folks. That's wicked as it comes. And this is that M, M390 steel. Yep. Now remember, that's a four inch blade. Uh, just, just a fantastic knife, super sharp. Uh, and I love carbon fiber. But yeah, this is the off-grid uh, blackout, the Scorpion blackout, V2 blackout, true deep pocket carry. This is, uh, this is one of the knives 
I do carry every once in a while, you know, like a weekend thing. And I also keep it in a box. It's one of the few knives I actually keep in the box. So there you are. Just fantastic, fantastic knife. Okay, now the one the thing I'm gonna throw today is the uh, Zabo Express by Tops. Mr. Zabo has a martial arts and law enforcement background. He made two versions. He's got the double edge and the single edge. I chose the single edge. Yes, I chose the single edge. These are fighting knives. These are self-defense knives. That's why he designed them this way. My Carter scales, 1095 steel with a black finish. Razor sharp, very well balanced to throw. I throw it quite a bit. You got jipping right here. And the reason why I chose single edge is cause a fighting knife. You know, I could do a lot of things. Uh, you get a double edge and use it as a fighter knife. That's like a, you know, a stabber. You gotta be real careful. You know what I mean? Whatever you do to use it, uh, if it's double edge, you gotta be careful. No matter what. But this is the single edge. I love this knife. I throw it a lot. And uh, it comes in this nice sheath. Now, I did take... Uh, it came with a clip just on one side. So I took... Check this out. You'd be surprised how many uh, belt clips fit other brands. This is an SC6 belt clip. I actually eyeballed it with my SC6. I eyeballed the S, the one I had to this sheath and I saw it fit. I went, you know what? I'm going to buy me an SC6 clip to put on here. And I did. And I'm glad I did it. It has that metal clip and it drops that handle down low. Absolutely love it. Okay. That's a uh, Wicked Wednesday Shop Talk. By the way, I'm going to do a short video. I should have done a long version. I want you to take a look at the sand this morning at my pool. Those of you who have followed the story, you know what's going on. I really made some headway today by doing some contacts, man, by doing some calling, emailing. Yep, I got things happening so much, I didn't have to shovel it. And I'm not going to have to shovel it. Yep. So I'm going to do a short video and show that. Okay, y'all take care and sog out.